Hello students. So in this section of interview support program, uh, I am going to discuss uh, some basic topic of quantum mechanics, which is uh, very much applicable to theoretical quantum mechanics or theoretical research. You know that in these days, quantum informatics uh, and quantum computational is the one of the very favorite research uh, area for the students as well as faculty. Or you will know that the government is very ज्यादा इसके ऊपर मनी भी इन्वेस्ट कर रही है फॉर द नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ रिसर्च और डिफरेंट टाइप के प्रोजेक्ट लॉन्च किए जा रहे हैं सो so, अगर आप इस फील्ड में काम करना चाहते हो देन आपको बेसिकली कुछ मेन टॉपिक के ऊपर कमांड करना होगा और वो आपसे निश्चित रूप से इंटरव्यू में पूछे जाएंगे सो व्हाट आर दीस टॉपिक सो दीस टॉपिक इज बेसिकली लीनियर वेक्टर स्पेसेस हिलवर्ट स्पेस basis vector and its dimensionality and polynomials and orthonormality so when you will go and prepare the linear vector spaces you have to prepare with the example so because they will not ask you the definition they will surely ask you the example what they will ask you that they will ask you in the two dimensional plane give me such a two vectors which are not uh, orthogonal but they are linear but, but they are linearly independent they can ask that question that which uh, whether they will make a basis or not or you can use it as a basis or not so is tarah ke problems aap se puche jayenge and very important thing all about the hilbert space so in the hilbert space all we know that square integrability is very important so how you will check the square integrability in a function form how you will check the square integrability in a series uh, form or in a summation form so obviously we have to know that uh, that if we are talking about a square in integrability that means it will follow the cauchy sequence uh, convergence rule so ye sari cheeze aapko thoda sa padh kar jana padega and definition se zyada aapko kahin na kahin focus karna hai examples ke upar taaki aap example ke through unhe samjha sako aur 100% faculties aapse examples puchhenge aur hilbert space और इन जनरल लीनियर स्पेस में क्या डिफरेंस है किस तरह से आप हिलवर्ट स्पेस का यूज क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स में करते हो इन सब के बारे में थोड़ी सी आपको बेसिक नॉलेज होनी चाहिए सो फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक आई विल सजेस्ट यू यू शुड गो आइदर फॉर कोहन तनोजी और फॉर आर शंकर दीज टू बुक आर वन ऑफ द वेरी फंडामेंटल बुक फॉर एडवांस लेवल ऑफ क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स मेनली फॉर द थ्योरिटिकल क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स एंड one of the favorite question is that they will give you some vector and they will ask whether they will span the whole space or not so you have to just uh, so with the example whether the given vector will use will span the whole space or not so spanning of the space is very important so you have to work on to that part also and whenever you want to command on this particular thing the polynomials are the very interesting thing so you have to try to understand different type of uh, solution of uh, polynomials differential equation such as hermite polynomial legendre polynomial is one of the favorite uh, differential equation and laguerre polynomial so at least you have to prepare these three polynomial in a very nice way and bessels is also very important but uh, and what you have to prepare you have to prepare what is uh, some n is equal to 0 or some indexes that will be 0 so first level fundamental mode is what first overtone is what so you have to just talk about this particular thing and most important thing is all about the orthonormality so what is the orthonormal condition for the hermite polynomial what is the weight function for the hermite polynomial what will be the orthonormal condition for the legendary polynomial where you will use the legendary polynomial and all these things is the one of the very very favorite question if you want to go into the theoretical physics so students so don't miss this particular particular topic if you will give answer of this particular topic there are certain chance that you are going to be selected because these are really tough very conceptual very few people will dig their head into this particular thing so whenever someone will ask you this question he was he will be surely the big sort of this particular area and uh, he will he will only ask this question if he wanted to he, he just wanted to willing to take you into the 
his own group or something like this. So students, if you want to do research into quantum computational, quantum informatics or research or theoretical research like uh, basically in quantum mechanics, then please go for this topic. Thank you.